The following program is sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. Ely Municipal Utilities Board Meeting, March 12, 2020.
Five to seven. Thank you, George. Coming back. Thank, Thank you, George. Please, Matt. Thank you, George. Take your time. Any other public comment? No other public comment. Move on to item number three. Items for this. Discussion possible action of the utility board to send the of these items may be approved in one motion by the board. That's its first action of business and under four discussion possible action items. Approval of consent agenda approves each of these items. Board members may remove any item from the consent agenda by notifying the board chair. We'll have a motion to move or approve the consent agenda items 3 1A, February 13th meeting, or minutes, and February 27th meeting. I move. We have a motion. I second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Approved. Public comment. Very good. We'll move on to old business. Uh, board member Robinson of Adam Lines Company represented the discussion for possible action of the reporting board on the uh, Robinson of Adam Development Group development of water mitigation efforts within the city of Sealy. Good morning. My name is Frederick Lafayette, and I'm a uh, Paul Robinson Mine for the records. Um, we continue to mine in the root pit, because that's the only pit we have, and we continue to dewater. We are dewatering and um, sending about 7,000 to Mason Creek, about 2,000 to the city of Italy through 70. Um, in total, we are pumping about 11,000 gallons of fresh water from uh, the south block. We are currently working with um, DJ to pull the pump out of uh, the terrace wall. Once it's out, um, we will have our electricians, they already lined up to come out and uh, try to see what the issues uh, are. And then uh, hopefully we can reconvene and go for that from there. With regards to what needs to be done to bring that well uh, back to where it needs to be working. That's all I have to report this morning. Um, any questions for me, please? So, at this time, the pump has not been pulled. It's not 100% pulled out. No, no, it's got a couple I see the rig on the side. So yeah, it's got a couple of minutes. Pull coming in. Yeah, about halfway at least. Okay. Thank you. Any questions for Frederick? Thank you, Frederick. Thank you very much. Public comment. New business. Board member, city engineer, longer discussion for possible action recommendation for acceptance of CH Spencer LLC proposal to replace the submersible motor and cable to the Paris Bowl in the amount of thirty-six thousand one hundred dollars and hiring a great lease of irrigation for installation of a cost of up to six thousand two hundred dollars per into NRS thirty three 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 two point one one five Robinson Down Lines Company to pay one hundred percent of the total cost. DJ, any comments on that? Uh, no oh, so explanatory. Yeah, this, the only comments I have is what we just said. Yeah. Well it's not totally out yet, so we're not sure exactly what went down. Um, with that. Um, one of the questions that was brought up last um, board meeting was the time frame for the motor and stuff. Um, CH transfer as of last Friday said it's on the shelf. It's about four days shipping to get here. So it should be motor and pump? Motor at this point. This is only for a motor at this point. Okay. Motor, this is motor and cabling. And so, anyway, that's where it's at. So it's not a long time. You, just curiosity, uh, do you, do you know what kind of motor to replace it with? Uh, I can't go to the first one. I don't have to talk about it. Yeah, just, just a point, you know, and all some of these motors uh, have different warranties. I want to caution that different warranties, the price of electric, some of the longer longevity. I was just curious. We, we, we tried to make it easy work. We basically put an identical unit back in the system just from the standpoint of not having it's just a maintenance item we'll about to be able to stay in the we'll same point about all this stuff. Any questions for DJ? Thank you, DJ. Public comment? So I, I think I do have this first okay. report. Well, Frederick, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Mike. What is it? Is it a Franklin or is um, it a clutch either? It's 250 MCC 
set cloth jackets or vertical form cable. Uh, no, okay. That's the case. That's the problem, sir. Yeah. Uh, 150 knots per hour. They don't say what type of model. They just point you one and they said send triple submissive mode. Okay, send triple is the actual yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's the. Yeah, and there are also three major manufacturers. Uh, just some of my experience in touching how to find your warranty. Second so one, three, and some of the There's phase two if you do a complete pump, the pump of water versus just a replacement. Okay, very good. No public comment. Uh, item number two Councilman Carson discussion of possible action. The recommendation of approval to temporary. Suspend the acceptance of paper and plastic at the Regional Landfill Recycling Center due to current working conditions. The Recycling Center will continue to accept aluminum and tin cans. Oh, uh, new business? We need, we need a motion on that, you think? Move forward. I don't know. Okay, so going back to item number one, uh, I, I'm sorry, we have a motion to approve. Uh, mm -hmm. So move. Uh, do we have a second? A second. Okay. We have uh, a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Right. 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 Sorry. Twice. Okay. Item right, number two. Uh, Kurt, any comment? Not really. We just, uh, I don't know what else to do with it. We lost money to ship it over there. We can't afford it. So what was the total receipts of the, of the plastic and the food? It wasn't much. Mike has an order on that. On the plastics, it was, well, it was written down there too. The total for the plastics was $105. And that's been going on for 15 years. $105? Yeah. yeah. That's two guys separating the plastics six hours a week. So if, and this has been going on for years. And it takes like... For the mail text, the clerk, where we got $74, uh, it takes 28 boxes. We got the dryer boxes from the day. It takes 28 of them to get one down. So did, did we even cover our cost of yeah. transportation? No. Well, with the loan, we did. Okay. And so that's why you made it. was like two, you know, and it was $2,000. Okay. And aluminum, you can, it's very minimal. You just pack the truck up and you put it in that truck, pack it up. It takes two hours to get it down. So where do you have to call it? So, so now they got plastic we've been doing. I think the last time we sold them like three years ago, we made $105. Okay. Yeah, okay. I would say it's costless. <laughs> Just, uh, I mean, obviously, so, so all the hardware here that they've gone into landfills, does that have any major impact on the landfill? Well, nothing on the world. Okay. Any questions for Mike? Thank you, Mike. We have a motion in reference to suspend the recycling of, uh, so you want all of it or everything? Just aluminum and silk hands, you want to still keep the aluminum? We're going to keep it. Right. Yeah. Right. Keep the aluminum. Mm -hmm. So it's basically okay. Paper and plastic. I move. We've got a move, or we've got a motion. Second. Got a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Public comment? Okay. Uh, department reports. Board members? Chair? Chair? Never any more. Nothing. Nothing, sir. Nothing for me. Uh, Kurt? No report. No report. Public Works uh, Supervisors, we've got the uh, landfill and now we the other rent ones, city water, operator. We have those. Uh, Mike, do you have any report? Nothing? Nothing to mention. Got any report? Nothing. Treasure? Sure. Resolvent? Solvent. Okay. Good. And city engineer. <coughs> Nothing? Well, you got a report, so I don't think you got any questions. The only other thing that we are um, looking at doing is costing out, trying to do a little jump up here so that the GID, we can get water to them in the summer in case of our 
tanks start to lower. We, we provide water to them fine when the well's off because our tanks are higher. In the summer, there's just a concern as our tanks drop lower, it's going to drop lower as they're in the pressure to their pumps. So we're just looking at you know, bypass them to be able to provide a booster pump to remedy that situation. Speak up. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Public comment. He needs to speak up. Get a gooseneck so it can reach his lips. NRS. Did you, did you want public comment? <clears throat> on his so right or now. the next Okay. Thank you. Can you hear me? What's that? Can you hear me? What? <laughs> can you hear me? Thank you. Mr. Chairman, uh, the voter of sewer line was not played on an iron way to complete. Did the owner of the property dump the road right away to the city, or did the city just trespass and violate the law? We have to see anything on your agenda to answer that. Mr. Chairman, the IRS 268.527 restricts. Restrictions on powers of the city, subsection 2 states, and I want to give you a copy. I got that in uh, 92. But the county wants a sweetheart deal on uh, hookups. They need to pay just like everybody else. Also, I got a memo dated 1991 in response to collection of uh, fees paid up front. Before anything is done, the county needs to pay or the developer needs to pay those fees for those particular lots prior to starting construction. The problem is you've got staff that's not doing the job properly. And I end up coming up here to remind you that they're not doing it and you get angry at me. That's got to stop. That's got to stop. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Chairman, uh, NRS 281-4481 uh, forbids public employees or officials from having preference in buying or selling a public property. Again, I want to know that 490 feet with the 16 inch linear pipe plant. I also, Mr. Chairman, remind you that the city has yet to reimburse me for the expenditure that I incurred for curing the sewer problem at 681 Parker that was the city's responsibility. Interest of 2% a month is being assessed in addition to late fee. The city voted to pay for an upgraded and larger sized water line to the tune of 60,000 or so for the property extending from Bubs to the charter school area, which was the responsibility of the developer, not the city. Again, NRS 268.512 states the city cannot assist the private business. I want my money. Right now, with interest, you owe me $6,371.09. I need that money. Mr. Chairman, on numerous uh, occasions, <coughs> the utility board of city council have asked, and I'm asking again, have you brought back the utility building to the city hall? You have yet to correct billing errors for me and my family. You're misbilling me. You have yet to give me credit for those years that you have overcharged me. I'm again requesting an itemized list of those buildings for properties that you overcharged me and corrected, if any. I've not received anything. It's been years. The city needs to hire someone again with a bachelor's degree in accounting as required by city code. You people have a fiduciary responsibility to the city. You're not carrying that out. Mr. Chairman, I've yet to uh, get any information in regards to the back row requirement on the uh, 7th and Clark location uh, where the shaved ice was, uh, also the RV park next to the Copper Queen. Again, either we have rules or regulations or we don't. Thank you, George. Can I get some answers? Very good. Next meeting. Any other public comment? What public comment? This has been a Georgetown production, George Chatches reporting.